Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're at Haven Perrin Sands staying in one of their comfort chalets and I'm going to take you on a tour around showing you the main features and then pointing out some of the things that we really liked and some things that we didn't. There are about a dozen chalets in our little cul-de-sac and each one has its own parking space. Your welcome packs are now waiting for you in your chalet along with your entertainment passes if you bought them. As you walk in you have the kitchen on one side and the lounge on the other. We've got a compact kitchen with minimal storage space. In the cupboards you've got your plates, bowls and cups, microwave on the other side, toaster and kettle, oven, an under counter fridge with freezer box. And on this side you have your glasses, the sink, your cutlery drawers and the cupboards underneath for storage and all your pots and pans. Utensil drawer with all the basics, although we like to bring our own sharp knife. They've cut away part of the cupboard door to make space for the microwave. And they haven't even bothered to finish painting it, which just makes it look cheap and a bit of a botch job. Nice nautical themed lounge area. I've seen a few reports online that say the chalets suffer with damp. And I haven't found that, they don't seem that much colder than a normal caravan. And we've also had the fire on which has kept it toasty warm. There's a good sized TV with basic free view channels. I'm hoping you can see me okay. The lighting in here isn't great. We've got four tiny wee lights and they all point in different directions. I really like these curtains with the coordinates on them. I don't think I've seen them at any of the other parks. The chalet sleeps six and this is a sofa bed, but I'm not sure where persons five and six are gonna sit because there's only four chairs around the table. The main bedroom has got a good sized double bed and bedside tables but what would really benefit from in here is some overhead cupboards to increase the storage space. The bedside plug socket has a USB charger with it as well. And from this side you can see the small wardrobe and mirror. We've got a spacious twin room with two full size single beds. It's a really bright and airy room. And from this side you can see the wardrobe and heater. It's a shame there isn't a mirror in this room, as that wall would be the ideal space. The plug sockets next to the bedside tables have USB chargers. The twin bedrooms here are a really good size, much bigger than you'd find in a caravan. So they're ideal for older children or adults. In the bathroom you have a good sized shower and sink. And your toilet and heated towel rail. It's a really nice sized bathroom. It's just a shame they haven't put a bath in here because there's plenty of room. And I know that a bath is part of a bedtime routine for a lot of people. I wasn't sure about the chalets when we first arrived, but they've quickly grown on me and now they feel really homely. Apart from the kitchen, it's quite small. There's very limited storage space. And the decor doesn't seem to go with the rest of the chalet. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did, then please give it a like. If you want to see more from me in the future, then click the subscribe button right here. And if you want to see more from me right now, why not watch one of my other videos? And don't forget, if you carry on watching, I'll carry on traveling. Bye.